hello YouTube. I wanted to show just a quick tip with y'all. This will be kind of quick, but it's on this panel that I'm working on right here. Um, let's clip to it. Okay, I'm going to start peeling this tape while I talk to you about this quick tip that I have for you. Um, I have a friend that sent me a message a little while back asking me about the same thing I'm going to talk to you about today. And it's something I haven't had a problem with in a while. But when it comes around, I know how to take care of it. And he was freaking out because he couldn't figure out how to take care of it. If you see right here, or I'll use my finger, right here, 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 here. There's a few spots on this panel where the leaf that's extra that doesn't have size underneath it wouldn't come up. Every now and then on certain paint surfaces and stuff, that happens. And let me get all the tape off of this, and then I will show you how to go about taking care of that. So, let's get this tape off. Might as well show you all a couple other little tips while I'm at it here about pulling tape. Um, only because I saw somebody post something on Facebook recently asking questions about this. And when I go to pull tape, I look for what tape is on top first. And I know that on this, this blue tape is what I had put on last. And when I go to pull it, I don't want to pull it straight up. And I don't want to pull it into my leaf work. If I do, a lot of times it tears into the area that I've leafed. What I'm doing instead, when I pull, I fold the tape back and I pull away from that edge. That way it's kind of cutting the edge there when you pull it off. Do the same thing whenever I pull tape for paint. Um, I feel like it's a little more important when I'm doing it for leaf than whenever I'm pulling it for paint. But if you watch right here on this curved edge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it so that I'm not pulling into it. I'm not really pulling away, I'm pulling across, so it's kind of cutting that as it goes. And here it's pulling up that next piece, which is just fine because that shows us something else. There's a V right here. So when it comes to that V, I'm going to pull this straight here. When that pulls, what that's going to do, it's going to cut both sides of that tape into that V. And it just keeps from pulling the leaf up and making the leaf look all tattered and stuff on the edge. I get to keep that crisp edge. So I'm going to go ahead and continue pulling off tape here. Y'all can watch. I'll put it on hyperlapse. All right, let's get back to the reason that we made this video here. Um, these little spots that did not come off with brushing. Okay. I can brush over them all I want and what seems to happen when you do this is the more you brush the more they seem to be stuck on there first time that I had that happen I kind of freaked out I tried using mineral spirits or something to get it off and that didn't help seemed to make matters worse and I tried sanding and that kind of helped a little bit but then I had to patch the area back and the answer to this problem that I found is so stinking simple. It's just a matter of taking a piece of tape and lifting it off with tape. That stuff really isn't stuck on there very well because there's no size underneath it. So if I just take a piece of tape, put it over, it comes right off. Um, like I said, I had a friend reached out to me not that long ago that was having this issue with the piece. When I told him that, he said the same thing that I thought after I first discovered this, and that's what a simple thing, how dumb am I for not knowing this ahead of time. <laughs> um, I am not some 30, 40, 50 year old veteran at doing sign work or pinstriping or anything. Um, I've been striping off and on for a little while but when it comes to gold leaf I've really only been at it for a few years now and I'm always learning new tricks and I'm sure that there are way more answers out there to how to deal with this 
I know some people use a powder that they put down first that keeps the leaf from sticking to the surface. Um, seems really smart to me. I don't have it, and I've found that by doing this, I don't really need it. But I know it exists. If you guys have any tips out there for dealing with stuff like this or any other things that you might have questions about, let me know. Maybe I can address them in a short video for you. Have a good day. Keep painting.